Well, it's the first car boot I've been to since last year, and flipping heck did I make up for it by buying a whole load of random tut. Um, like all car boots, when you go there, like your first stall is always the worst, isn't it? So, guy had like fifty pence bucket thing, so I picked up this Ben Ten Terra Thin thing. I do need that for the Ben Ten collection. There was this Peter Pan, uh, the Ben Ten figure. It's Trunks from uh, Dragon Dragon Ball Z. It's, a, it's Dragon Ball Z. Oh, he's in Grease Sword. Look. <laughs> and stuff. And like a Monster Me Pocket. Little superhero squad thing. A corpse figure. And a little Ninja Turtle thing. And the guy's like, oh, five quid. I was like, eh? <laughs> what? Like, uh, I'll give you three pounds, good man. And uh, he kind of ummed and hard and in the end said yes, which I was like, champion, because otherwise I would have just picked up two of them and only paid a pound, so... So, getting that kind of out the way, uh, the, the first bit in there. Um, a lot of people wanting really silly money for stuff, like... Uh, silly money to me anyway, but... Uh, I, I kind of just picked up what I could at the prices I thought was good. Uh, I did find this Transformers... Armada built to rule thing here for a pound and I was like it's definitely not complete like it's gonna have loads of stuff missing um it, it wasn't even sealed or even sealed and out so uh, and I was like oh, you know, is it all there and the guy's like oh I definitely all there like so I was gonna sort of tell him like oh, I'll buy it for myself to celebrate my birthday which was yesterday and when he said, your birthday was yesterday, and I said, that's right, that's when I was born, yesterday. But uh, it's not complete, uh, by any stretch of any bread and but it uh, did have this little white helmet in there, which is, I don't know what that's off. Uh, a little red ball, and a little action uh, army dude. So those were in there, as well as just some bits of Optimus Prime. Uh, it's nice to have the box, though, I suppose, you know, so that's, that's always something. Uh, glumps, but uh, a few glumps, they were just pennies a piece, so I just picked up a handful of those. Uh, a couple of McDonald's Transformer in one that turns into a crocodile. Again, these were just pennies, so I picked them up in this little. It's not actually a burger, that by the way, just in case you're wondering, because you're thinking, like, oh, that's a good looking burger there, Polly. Actually, does have a little Ronald McDonald having a party inside there, so. I uh, did get Nintendo games, Nintendo DS games. There seems to be millions there, but they seem to want, like, to me, a pound each would be kind of what I'd be thinking of price wise. But uh, the kids do like the Nintendo Dogs, so picked them that up. That was two quid for that, but, you know, for your kids and all that. Uh, what else did I get? Got this Angry Birds box set thing here, that was a quid. It's complete as well, so again, the kids will be out on the moon with that. Over the moon. Uh, there was a lady who had some toys in a, a little pot or something, a little bag thing. And I was like, oh, which of the figures? And she was like, 20 pence each. Uh, and I had seen from like a mile away, gleaming in the sun, this rock lord. Now, this is, it's about as pristine a condition as I've seen one of these in the wild before. Uh, in fact, the last one I saw this go was probably from in the 80s. It's got very minimal wearing on it, so I was absolutely chuffed to find that for 20 pence. They did also have this other rock lord. Again, 20 pence. I picked up this Rubik's Cubey thing, uh, which is one of, the, one of those ones. And I love Rubik's Cubes, and that's obviously the cube of the hole. That, and this kind of knockoff Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator figure. Unfortunately, missing his bike, but they did have the Ninja Turtles foot soldier bike thing. And that was 50p, so that was like £1.30 for, for all of those, which I thought was a pretty good price. Uh, Skylanders seem to be like just everybody selling Skylanders of car boots, but again, the prices on them aren't great. But uh, somebody was selling this one for a pound, which uh, we don't have this character for swap for, so I thought for a pound it was worth picking up. It does make a noise when you shake it like, so I don't know. It's kind of a bit. Stop shaking it then. Nobody tells Beyonce to stop shaking it. By the way, the lovely Debbie McGee's back for one night only. Just in case you were wondering who the random person was 
Talking behind the camera there. It's the lovely Debbie McGee. Yeah, I've got this matchbox um, pop, I forget what they're called, but fold out pop up things. Um, it was like 50p and it all falls out and turns into. Turns into danger, danger. So there's that, that was 50p and. On the way out, uh, a lady was packing her stuff away and I saw she had this on the top of one of our boxes and I was like, ooh, how much is that? And she's like, three pounds. And I was like, you're just about to get in your car and leave, pet, how eh? And then uh, she's like, ah, oh, well, you know, like 10 quid then. So I was like, will you take a pound? And she's like, I all right then. So this one falls out into a, a sharky thing. So we're gonna, a matchbox crocodile thing and a sharky thing folding out play sets. So those those are really cool. Like pound fifty for both of those. Uh, I did find this. Is this um? Oh god, what's it called again? Uh, I'm forgetting the name of the company now. But uh, Keith of Sutherland there, in all of his glory, uh, missing his gun and uh, and stuff. But my god, look at those trousers! Uh, and he was a quid. So I thought, well. Worth picking that them type of figures up for a pound. Uh, what else did we get? All sorts of stuff. Right, so there was a guy, and I don't know where he was from, but he didn't speak English. Um, I think he was either incredibly intoxicated, or it was from a different planet. And he had like all these figures in like different boxes. So like this was in a two pound box. Uh, these He-Man figures were in a pound box. And we have like 50 pence boxes and stuff, so like so this bit of juice with 50 pence. This um, Dungeon Dragons figure, which I really, really want this guy. Um, and this one's pretty beat up, but it'll do until I can get a, a nicer replacement. Uh, there's Princess Leia, who's like literally being et and digested and pooped back out. This, uh, that was 50 pence, 50 pence. Uh, Morpha from Power Rangers, 50p. Darth Maul on these little... Little motorbike, little scooter, 50p. Uh, and the guy's like, Oh, it's a uh, I forget what he actually said, it's like five quid or so much. But I got it all for three quid, which considering this person was in a two pound box and managed to get a um Adam Power tossed in there for free as well. So I've got all of those for three pounds, which I thought was a pretty decent little price on them. Like, got toys in Migoli. Right, do the good thing I got, which uh, the lovely Debbie McGee's well out of the moon with. Uh, I've managed to find some My Little Ponies now, which is after My Little Ponies. So if you guys see any My Little Ponies out and about, Hasbro ones, do please pick them up and uh, I'll have them off you. So I've got like nine different ones. So you've got Pinky and Whitey and Rainbow Dash, I know that one. Uh, and this one's Cherry's Jubilee, as we've been Googling. <laughs> and... Uh, Applejack, but that one's missing his tail. Unfortunately, didn't notice that at the time. They want like a pound each for them. Um, oh God, what's that? Fruity? Hearty? Don't know. Uh, they want like a pound each for them, and I got like, I think 10, but one was a knockoff. And I, I give them a fiver, and they're happy with that. So the wife's happy, I'm, I'm happy. So that's pretty cool. Um, got like a load of these figures here, and these were like. Grab a handful for a quid type of style. So, uh, the little micro machine power injury things was in there. This guy, I have no idea who this is. Looks like an ultra ultraman, uh, but he seems to have a, a weird little plastic, custom homemade base. Uh, there was this kind of kaiju, little fella in there too. Um, a few little monsters in my pockets. Obviously, our little blue mate. And what was even cooler was there was this knockoff of the blue lad, knockoff kind of dude too. So I was like, wow, I'm having him, I'm having him like. Um, so there was those, and then the other thing that was in amongst all those was this Alpha 5. Now I do believe this one only came with the uh, Power Rangers base, or whatever it was called. So grabbed him uh, in amongst all them for pittance, pittance of pop. Uh, I do believe I want a 50 pence each for these figures, but I grabbed a five and give them two quid. So there's a, is that a Beetle Borg uh, type style. This one's a really early looking uh, knockoff Power Ranger figure. 
for it. Uh, it's actually quite well made for a knockoff. I believe this is a, an early Power Rangers knockoff as well, which is uh, quite interesting looking. There's uh, this Mummy's Alive fella, and this Blaster from Transformers. So they were pretty cool. Have a vision of his legs snapping off. Right, so that was what is that? Is that everything? Where am I at? Where am I at? Uh, I'll show you these. Uh, I've got some Mighty Max play sets. Those were, I think, 50 pence for the three. So grab all of them. James Bond Jr. in a cool little Rambo esque with no hair, bald Rambo, bald man, Jupiter figure. They were 50, I think it was 50 pence for both of those, so 25 pence each on them. And then these next figures were all 50 pence each. Uh, they're too far away. <coughs> so we've got Nick Whitewall from Ben 10. Again, he's a little army builder, so he's really, really cool. This guy, who I thought was a knockoff, but he's actually a Hasbro, so I'm not sure if he's from like a GI Joe line or something like that. But he's pretty interesting. Uh, this giant naked um, troll, is it a troll? I think it is. From uh, Harry Potter, and I, would, I do believe he's supposed to come with some kind of like skirt thing. But the, the fact that he was naked, to me, made him just all that more scary. <laughs> They've actually sculpted butt crack on him as well, so... I was actually happy to pay the 50 pence to, to buy the new troll. So he's one of my new favourite toys now. This guy from Flushed Away, now, I don't think I've seen this one before. I do pick them up. They are McDonald's toys, but I do pick them up. And... Uh, Tend not to try and pick McDonald's toys up for 50 pence, but look at this guy now. <laughs> he's so much fun. Uh, this knockoff Bubba Fett. Picked him up. Bucky Ho. Bucky, Bucky Ho, I need a bath. And uh, one of the more newer, although could have been about 10 years, Fighting Mice from Mars. And finally. This beetle, beetle bog figure, but uh, like, look how happy I am. I'm so smiley, so happy to be free of the mask. Uh, there's that, and then oh, uh, I think these were like 20 pence each or something. So I got this He Man figure, I don't have this one. Uh, a couple of the McDonald's -y turtle figures, and this from Ben 10, which I needed to onto one of my ones I've got so grab those for that uh, two goodly toys I've got these on the way out uh, of the car boot uh, I was suffering from sunstroke at the time so please don't uh, sort of but <laughs> I got the Jurassic Park mascot uh, from it's authentic from Universal Studios it's the worst worst quality goodly toy you would ever I mean I dare say if like if you fart next to it it would catch on fire uh, and his eyeballs would melt into your, into your chest. But, uh, yeah, yeah, for 50 pence. What can I say? Uh, the other thing was 50p was this popple. Uh, this is like a 80s, 96 popple thing, and it has a rattly tail, and obviously popples were good, because you could turn them inside out, couldn't you? And turn them into a ball. <laughs> popples. Popples! So that was 50 pence also. That, I believe, is everything that I got, uh, apart from, uh, I could get a sort of box full of stuff, now a bag full of stuff, for six quid. And I'll put the nicest stuff in the top, the Master of the Universe stuff in the top there. The rest of it's pretty bad. Like, uh, basically, whoever had this child didn't feed them, so they decided they would eat the toys for nourishment. So uh, I'll do a separate video on showing all of the random bits of chewed toys I've got in there. So that was six quids there. That was me. That was me. Car boot. Oh, so thanks for watching that, guys. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I did get this too, actually. Um, there was a guy who had uh, maybe twelve G one Transformers, and I was like, <laughs> oh, that's it. That's the deal made well up. Uh, but he knew. He knew what he had. Um, he's a collector himself, and basically, he this is his ones he's upgraded himself, and he's basically just wanting to try and sell them for as much as he could. And I tried to buy them for as little as I could, and we we laughed and we joked, and uh, I ended up coming with this guy. 
So really quite pleased with that. Um, I would have ideally liked to have picked them all up for like a quid each and stuff, but hey ho, that ain't the way it goes. So there you go, lovely, quite looking forward to getting them into his bottom ward. Uh, so again, stay tuned for the, the massive bag of figures that I'll be doing in a bit. And uh, again, pretty much need to go and lie down now. Maybe put some after sun on. Bye.